that to the Snap Jacks feature on News for Jacks. So be thinking about that. Also on this day right here on River City Live, as you mentioned, Mark, and maybe you can expand on that just a little bit, teen vocabulary. Yeah, so there's a lot of words that teenagers use that we don't know what they are. And really from generation to generation, words change. And with spring break, it's a great time to reconnect with your teen now that they're back at home. Also, we're talking about teen trends when it comes to fashion because let's face it, you know, with fashion, things are in and out really fast. And some things that were in style a long time ago are actually coming back in. Mm, that is so true. One thing that hasn't gone out of style, it just looks a lot different this year because capacity has changed. But TPC is going on this week, and there's a lot of history that surrounds that. Who better than Chris Hoffman, the Jacksonville Beach mayor, but also she runs the Beaches Museum. So she's the history and the future, as they say in Jacksonville Beach. So hello, Mayor Hoffman, hello. Hi, I'm so happy to be here and not to be here talking about teen vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is, there is probably going to be some eye-opening conversation that happens when that goes down. But we love when you visit us and share trivia. And yesterday we, we agreed that the expectation from us has to be very low because we are not planning to get any of these yeah, Chris, correct. when you come in, you stump us. But you know what's fascinating? We love to learn about it because it's local to this area. And I think that our golf history goes so far back beyond even the players. That's our focus um, this week, of course, with the big event going on. But we have a very long and storied uh, golf, golf history. Are you ready for the first quiz question? We are. Okay. <laughs> In 1966, after this famous golfer finished his round with a double eagle, which by the way is three under par on one hole, so pretty incredible, he went up into the television tower to commentate for the rest of the tournament at the Jacksonville Open held at the Selva Marina Golf and Country Club, which is now the Atlantic Beach uh, Country Club. Name that golfer. What, one more time, the year? 1966. 1966. I am... Not sure. Who's who's like one of the older golfers? Is it like Jack Nicklaus? Well, or? that's like one of the most popular ones. I don't know if he's a little bit older than that, but that's the only one I kind of know. That's, that's, Arnold, that's the one. Arnold Palmer. <laughs> nope. It's Jack Nicklaus, and you can see him in the photo up on that on that tower commentating. He was paid five hundred dollars for his work as, with the commentary, which he donated to the Jacksonville Amateur Golf Association. So pretty wow. cool little story right there from Selva Marina. All right, so uh, half a point for Mark and Eden. There right? you yeah. go. You <laughs> guys got it. it. I, I, get there. I think if we had to name golfers, it was the two we just named. Yeah. Maybe Tiger Woods, <laughs> and maybe we're good for one other one. Maybe. That's about, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Golden Bear, right here in our community. So the Greater Jacksonville Open was a PG. PGA Tour event played from 1946 to 1976 and it evolved to a now famous golfing event. What event did it evolve into? Is it not the players? players? It is the players. Okay. I knew you would get some of okay, these guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the players championship began in 1974 and it was played at various courses including Atlanta, Fort Worth and even Fort Lauderdale. It landed at the Sawgrass Country Club uh, in 1977 and then went over to TPC Sawgrass. The photo you can see there, there's another famous golfer you just mentioned, Arnold Palmer is the gentleman in the middle leaning against his club. This was a 1965 photo of uh, Selva golf course um, on the practice range. Wow, and I guess they didn't have a cell phone issue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, so no cell phones allowed or invented. <laughs> <laughs> or invented. All right, we have time, I know, for at least one more. Okay, we're going way back. The Ponte Vedra Inn's Ocean Course was scheduled to host one of the biggest golf tournaments in the world in 1939. What was it and why was it canceled? Biggest golf tournaments in the world. Is it the Ryder Cup? It is the Ryder Cup. Great job. Thank Bonus you. points. Yeah. I, I only know like two tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> the Ryder Cup and this one. Seriously, like that's just, it. Just go, we go are done. Unless it's something on Tiger Woods. That's all I got. Yes. Yeah. Well, we would love to have you stick around with more questions, which I'm assuming assuming you have. And also, we need to know what's going on at the Beaches Museum. The doors are open, right? The doors are open. We have our Women's History exhibit. We'll be on uh, through the month of March as we celebrate Women's History Month um, again. So we invite people to come out. We're free and open to the public six days a week. And uh, it's a great spot, not only our exhibits, but also tours of our historic buildings. We've got a lot going on right now as safely as we can possibly do it. And, you know, Chris, speaking of that, safely as you can, with COVID, do you have to do anything 
anything like buy your tickets online or anything like that? Or? Nope, you do not have to pre-register. Although for our events, we have Spring in the Blooms coming up on April 10th. That is an outdoor event, but we do require people to um, pre-register for that. But in terms of just visiting the museum, we have a lot of people out at the beach right now between the golf tournament and the, the 904 pop-up on Sunday. We've got a lot going on out at the beach. So we do invite people to stop by. Um, and again, free admission open to the public. And we, we love to see visitors coming out there enjoying our beaches history. Well, thank you very much, Jacksonville Beach Mayor Chris Hoffman. Speaking of golf. Yeah, I had the opportunity to go out to Edwin Watts and learn more about what they do and all the cool tools that you could find to help out your golf game. Let's take a look.